Okay, let's get um, reassembled. And uh, yeah, the panelists for the afternoon panel can come on up. Um, this afternoon session uh, is going to be moderated by Dave Troxy, who is a member of our planning committee. He's currently a White House fellow um, at the VA and we will be moderating and organizing this, and I'm going to turn it over to him. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dave. And if I can ask all of the panelists for this afternoon to please uh, come up to the stage and take your seats. And as, as everyone is, uh, is settling in, um, I'll just make a couple of uh, very brief introductory remarks. Um, so as, as Dave mentioned, it's been my uh, pleasure and, and honor to serve as uh, part of the planning committee for today's workshop. Uh, and I, I think this morning's session um, has been uh, illuminating and rich already, and hopefully we can uh, continue that trajectory. Uh, I think one of the things that I took away from uh, the morning session is the idea that um, there really are a lot of innovations in population health. Uh, around the United States, um, from, from Maryland uh, to Oregon to Ohio, uh, and we'll hear about some more of those uh, this afternoon. It kind of fits into a, a thousand rays of light uh, model in uh, honor of the, the sun that's peeking its head outside. Um, and I, I hope one of the things that we're able to accomplish this afternoon is to to figure out how we can turn those thousand rays of light into more of a focused beam. Um, and uh, to me, that's, that's the metaphor uh, of sustained improvement in population health. Uh, so that's one of our goals. And the second thing that I'll invoke is uh, the Affordable Care Act, which of course has been brought up many times uh, already thus far. Um, and perhaps the Affordable Care Act is the lens by which that focusing uh, will take place. Um, and I, I hope we get a chance to talk about it um, relatively specifically in that uh, October 1st, the healthcare exchanges, now known as the marketplaces, will go live. Um, they'll start enrolling uh, individuals at that date and covering them uh, January 1st in 2014. The Obama administration has a goal to enroll a total of 15 million individuals over the first year. Uh, so by the end of 2014, 7 million in the marketplaces and 8 million via the Medicaid expansion. Uh, and so I hope we have a chance to explore that a bit um, and figure out how the ACA um, can serve uh, as a way to bring about the sustained improvement in population health that we care about and how those 15 million individuals may uh, change our efforts in that realm. Uh, so without further ado, let me go ahead and introduce our, our very distinguished um, panel this afternoon, uh, which has backgrounds in public health, uh, health care, uh, sometimes both, uh, as well as policy. And they'll share their experiences uh, and their ideas related to innovations in payment reform, public policy, community benefit, and community transformation. Uh, they bring their experiences from philanthropy, community-based prevention, federal government, health care, and state and local uh, public health. Um, their biosketches are included in your meeting materials, um, so I won't uh, go into uh, detail about um, their backgrounds. And I'll ask you just as with this morning, please hold your questions until the end. And for the speakers, um, the staff will give you a five minute, a two minute, and a time up uh, warning, so we'll have sufficient time for the discussion. Um, so, uh, our first panelist this afternoon is um, Debbie Chang, who is Vice President for Policy and Prevention at Nemours. Debbie? 